Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm recording at night again. It's uh, about eight or nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock. And um, I really do enjoy this recording at night. Um, it kind of gives me like all day to be able to do other things uh, as much as I would love to be in my craft room all day, every day. I just can't because I just have so much stuff that I have to do throughout the day. Like today, for instance, I'm putting my hands right here because this is shiny and there's a glare. So, um, but today, for instance, I had a doctor's appointment and it was kind of funny. So, um, I'll tell you about that while I tell you what this is. So this is a box, <laughs> obviously. Um, and I wanted to like do some clusters with some of the flat back pearls that I have and some of the flowers and the doilies and such. And then I realized I kind of have them in multiple places. So I really, really, really need to condense it into one spot. And so there's this like whole top of my desk because I have, um, I don't really know what it's, oh, um, I have, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a shelving unit that's attached to your desk. And on top of that, I have a whole spew of containers like this. Some of them are filled and some of them are not. Anyway, I figured I would bring this down and see if I can't get some of these organized in here. Um, and honestly, and figure out what's in it. So while I'm doing that, I figured I'd tell you guys about my day. So my, my day is pretty boring, honestly. Um, I sit on my bum a lot, all day long. Um, I have a chair that I sit in that's outside that's pretty low to the ground. It's like um, maybe a foot and a half off the ground. And um, it's, I have a chair in front of me where I can put my other, where I can put my left foot and it raises my foot up off, um, off the ground for one, but it raises it above my hip. And, and that's what we want. We want it elevated. So, um, I sit on my bum a lot, but I will tell you that my leg is getting significantly better. Um, I talked to doc today because I went to the doctors and it was kind of funny. She's, I really like her. She's not my normal doctor, but my normal doctor wasn't available at the, um, at the time that I made the appointment. Cause when I made the appointment, it was Friday and I was just like freaking out and like, Oh my gosh, I broke my leg type thing. Like I, I didn't know what I did. So, um, I, wait, I think I want the cut these, like cut them down the strip. That way I can just put them in because right now I can't put them in there like that. But if I cut them down the middle, I can. So anyway, I made the appointment, um, on Friday and they told me, you know, go to urgent care or the hospital or whatever. And I was like, all right, cool. So I did. And, um, anyway, I went to doc today and she's like, so it's, and I, you know, went over everything and, um, told her what was happening and whatnot. And she, she was just like, okay, so is it feeling better? Cause she can't really do anything or tell me anything if she doesn't know what's going on. Right. So she's like, well, is it feeling better? I was like, yes, it is feeling a thousand times better. And she's like, good. So why are you here? <laughs> and I couldn't help but giggle because I was just like, well, because I made the appointment Friday when I thought I broke myself. And she's like, okay, that makes a little bit of sense. So I don't think I can do this one in half. No, I'm not going to be able to do this one in half. Well, maybe because I can do that one. That's four. And then that's four. I'll just cut a little off the side. There's fuzz on this one. So anyway, um, but I asked her, I was just like, you know, my hamstring is starting to get really sore. And she's like, have you been sitting with your leg elevated like constantly? I was like, yes, 
That's what they, that's what the docs told me at the ER. She's like, yeah, it'll, it'll pull your hamstring a little bit, but don't worry. It will go away once you start moving around like normal again. I was like, oh, thank goodness gracious. Cause this, I was just like, you know, they scared the bejesus out of me when they said something about a blood clot. And I was just like, uh, this is no bueno. So yeah. Um, I think we'll put the colors there and the white and creams on this side. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was fun. Um, but she, she's really funny though. She yelled at me cause I hadn't, you know, gone in and got my exams done and whatnot. Cause I procrastinate everything. She didn't actually yell at me. She just fussed at me. She's like, you were way past it. I was like, I'm sorry. I got distracted. Um, she was just like, you know, you haven't been in um, in a year and a half, two years, or three years, rather, three years. And I was just like, um, yeah, so there was a point between like 2006, 17 and I think it was like 2016 through 2018 I didn't leave my house so yeah I was going through a very very bad panic attack I guess I don't know and that's why I told her too I was just like I don't know if you can call it a panic attack but that's what I'm calling it and let's see. I think we can do it this way. Yeah. And then we'll do this one. Like this. But see, there's all kinds of flat backs. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got these in Happy Now, these little purple flowers. Um, pretty sure I got these from, um, I want to say Recollections, like they were on Clarence or something. And this was like back before I really knew what to do with the, um, the flatback pearls. These I got from the Dollar Tree. These things are amazing. So I think I'm going to do five. And Sydney's all but better. Like she's bouncing around like herself again which I'm very, very grateful for that. I think I'm going to put all of these together. Put all these together here. And then put all these together here. There we go. Um. Oh, you want to know something else? I'm not sure how funny it is, but uh, I went to give my son a hug because he was going to bed before I came in here to record. And that boy is taller than me. Not by much, but he is taller than me. I was like, then you name it. It was just, oh, he's just getting so big so quick. And I know that some of you mamas out there you, your kids are grown and they're all taller than you, but I'm just not there yet. My babies are still little. I don't know if I want to do it like that or do it like this. I think like this will probably be better. That way you can see the colors. But yeah, I just, I got these at the Dollar Tree a long, 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 long time ago. I'll say like four or five years ago. I mean, it wasn't like ancient or nothing. I mean, I guess it really depends on what you're talking about. It can be considered vintage. Because, <laughs> you know, like wine, um, if it's like two or three years old, it's vintage. It was funny though, because I was talking to Doc and uh, she had asked me, you know, if I drank. I was like, no, I don't. Um, and I was telling her about the, um, 
when I went to the hospital, they had given me um, pain medication for for my leg. And um, whatever it was, I know what it is that they gave me, but I did not like it at all. Like, not even a little. Um, and she asked me why, like, what made me feel like that. I was just like, basically, it messed with my head. It made me feel like I was drunk, and that's why I don't drink, because I don't like that feeling. I don't like that buzzed feeling. I don't like that um, lightheadedness. It's just, it's not for me. Uh, I don't judge those who do drink. My husband drinks, not very often, but he does. Um, and... It's just not for me. Anyway, um, they had given me that pain medication Friday and for the next, like, I want to say three days, I want to say it wasn't until Monday evening that I finally felt like myself again. Um, because I had, I felt like I had a hangover. I didn't like it. It was terrible. And anyway, I told her, I was like, and that's why I don't drink because I don't like that feeling. I wonder if I shouldn't do these the same way. There's so many of them. I don't know that I have a whole lot of the other ones. I just know I have a lot of these little blue drops. Kind of everywhere. Little blue drops. There we go. Oh, well, that's pretty perfect. And see, I'm getting rid of garbage at the same time. Cool. You see, colored pearls. Um, I want to say these came from the Dollar Tree, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I don't know. But I know where they're going now. They're going in this little bucket with the rest of colored pearls. Link. So yeah, it was funny. I told her that, um, oops, I told her that my hamstring was starting to get tender and she was like, yeah, that's pretty normal. It's like, all right, cool. And I was like, is there anything I can do about my bum? Because, uh, I don't think I've ever sat down for so long that it started hurting my bum. And she laughed at me. It's like, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being serious. She never did give me an answer. I think we just got talking to some, about something else, but I'm going to have to put a pillow or something in the chair. It's funny though, because I told Wayne, I was like, you know, it's pretty ironic that I go from being, um, what is it called, sedentary or something like that? It's basically a couch potato. I go from being a couch potato for the last 10 years, and then, you know, I get up and I start moving around and then I break myself and I'm forced to sit back down again. It's ironic, isn't it? Who sings that song? Alanis Morissette. Ooh, those are pretty colors. I like this. But you see what I mean by I just have so many flatbacks. And that's not counting any of these yet. Like, separated, uh, not stickery flatbacks. These are just ones that I got for really cheap. Actually, most flatbacks are really cheap. No matter where you find them. Um, I mean, if you find them super duper expensive, I would say 
<laughs> find somewhere else to shop because they're not expensive. They're just not. Like this, this whole sheet cost me like a dollar. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough space in here. I might have to add them to the, this one here. I'm just going to toss that. All right, we're just going to go ahead and cut this and see what we have here. This one's just like a purple. It's like a kind of an orangey color. See, I like having the different colors because you can do all kinds of stuff with them. This is white. So we can put that with the white. And then these. I'm not sure how I want to do this yet. Um, because like this, there's there's a lot here. And I don't think I can just dump them out and put them in there. I don't. I think that would be a very bad idea. Sequins. I don't know why I have sequins in here. These are gemmed. There's like a, like kind of a, a grayish blue right there. I can't get my nails done. And then there's like a turquoise colored blue green right there an applique that doesn't go in here Oop. these lost their sticky those did not these were recollections as well more of them that lost their sticky ideas let me know because I'm running out of space already I didn't think that was going to happen I have a lot more to cut than I thought I thought I had more of those Let's see these are just multicolored I'm pretty sure these did come from the Dollar Tree. Oh, actually, I'm pretty sure all of these ones like this came from the Dollar Tree. Um, gosh, I don't know. Oh, and just plain silver ones. Those are good. Those are actually really good to have. I like these. I like the colors in here. Obviously, I've used them a couple times. Um... I think I was trying to salvage this one. I don't know what I was doing with that. And then this seems to be the last of the strips like this. Alright. So We have this one and these. Maybe if I can just pull all of these out, then I can leave this one empty for the loose flatbacks. There's an idea. All right, so these are pearly. So colored, colored, and block. 
All right, so we'll do these with the colors. Well, they're not mixed colors, so we'll put them in with the solids. But that way I can put all my silver ones together or clear or whatever you want to call those. But yeah, so my intention was to make little clusters because I've got a lot of um, a lot of these pearl things and um, a lot of flowers and doilies and such like that. And you can't help but get inspired when um, when I'm buying the flowers and the um, like the padded hearts and stuff like that. That's actually what inspired me to start making the. Um, the doily flowers was padded hearts. Like, I mean, obviously they're incredibly different. One's a heart, one's a flower, one's quilted, one's a doily. But still, I mean, your inspiration comes from all over the place, you know? And I think that's how it should be. I don't think anybody should tell you that, you know, you can't get inspired and, you know, create something based off of something you saw. Otherwise, there would be no use for a muse. I don't really have a muse, but at least I don't think I do. I don't know. Do you have a muse? And if you do, what is it or who is it? I know a lot of people um, are inspired by like family, like their family or their family members, like maybe the member of your family who got you into the world of crafting. Um, I don't particularly talk to mine, but my mother got me into crafting. She doesn't even know it, honestly. Um, but she used to make flower arrangements when I was younger. And she would make wreaths, like Christmas wreaths and stuff like that. And um, when I was an adult, but I was still younger, I was much younger, um, I got into scrapbooking. And I got into, um, oh, what's it called? Creative memories. And what did I just do with that thing? Where did I put them? Oh, there they are. So, um, anyway, so I got into Creative Memories. And Creative Memories is great, but I was kind of my best customer, so I did not keep that up very long. But then um, we moved to New York, and I kind of had to put my uh, crafting on hold because we didn't have the space. We were in a renovated two bedroom house uh, that had been like, they didn't change the square footage at all. They just um, built a room directly on top of the garage and added a third bedroom. So they could say that, you know, there's a third bedroom. Well, my bedroom was bigger than my living room. So that was fun. But um, there wasn't really any storage or anything because it was originally a two bedroom house. And so there wasn't, there wasn't any kind of room for storage. So I put my crafting on hold. And then we moved to Washington where we had a much bigger house. We had a four bedroom, like a true four bedroom house. And, um, See, you can probably put that over there. And so I had gotten back into crafting. Well, I ended up taking up half the living room. First, it was the dining room table. So first it was the dining room table. <laughs> then it was like, okay, well, we eat dinner every single night together as a family. So every day I was picking all my stuff back up and putting it all back away. 
So that got very tedious very quickly. So I cut the living room in half and stole half the living room. And then when we moved here, um, because when we moved to Washington, when we first got there, he wasn't a chief yet. He wasn't an E7. So we were still in junior enlisted housing, which is smaller housing, but it was definitely bigger than what we had in New York. So I wasn't complaining. But when we moved here to South Carolina, he, um, he was a chief and there's a difference in housing with junior enlisted and senior enlisted and officers. Well, on this base, it's a smaller base. So um, the, uh, the senior enlisted and the officers, they're all one housing area. And anyway, so when we moved in here, there was an office like an actual legit office separated from the rest of the house. It was kind of cool. And um, so I got my own office and it's just been, it's been really great. And what's really funny is Wayne talks about, he's like, yeah, when, what, whenever we move again, we're just going to turn the living room into your office and we're going to make the designated office our living room. I'm like, really? No, we're not doing that. Like nobody's ever in the living room. I was like, I know, but as soon as you put the living room behind the behind closed doors, it's gonna turn into a disaster because your children do not know how to clean up their own messes. It's terrible. Like as they get older, they get better. Um, like I think that the clean the most cleanly one out of the three is probably Haven. Um, and I say probably because she, she's still messy. I mean, she's 19, but she's still messy. Um, and I'm just cutting these down so they'll fit in the box. There's no rhyme or reason to these because they're all, um, they're all like mixed up colors and such. Oh, I missed one. I'm going to cut it straight through the plastic. Good job. Ah, my foot's going to sleep. But these are super teeny tiny. Boop. Where are those teeny teeny tiny ones? So anyway, I just figured I would bring you guys along with me while I sit here and try to organize this stuff. Um, let me put this with these, I think. Potentially. Um, yeah, I think I'll set it up here. Because there's not too, too many. And then that way, I'm going to push this all to one side. Boop. Go back over there. And then, I have my little cubby for these guys. For these guys. It didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. I thought it would take much longer. But then again, I also grossly underestimated the amount of stuff that was in here. And I thought I was going to be doing these as well as the loose flatbacks, which is why I thought it would take longer. But I'm not a pretty color. That pink. And I think this is the last one. Okay. 
So I'm definitely going to have to get something for all these, um, the loose ones. Um, they will all fit in the little box now, which is good. But, um, they're still not really organized, you know? That worked out good. And that'll just like kind of keep it from moving around a lot, having that extra little guy right there. And this doesn't really go in there. Um, it's sequins. I have no idea why it's even in this bucket. But now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It was fun trying to get it down. Anyway, um, so that's what it looks like. Bloop. And I don't know where I found this. Um, I don't know if I got it at a yard sale or I don't know where I got it from. I've had it for a minute though. But I can uh, toss it around because nothing in there is loose. And all of the loose pearls that are going in here are in packages but these are all super little like these are tiny tiny um i like that green it's pretty but yeah these are like itsy bitsy tiny they're not all itsy bitsy tiny but, like, those aren't, those aren't so bad. Nope, that's not going to work. I'll leave those out because I can see myself using those way more often. Um, and then... Those right there. That doesn't go there. Um, oh, I have these. I can put those in a teeny tiny bag. And put them in this little box. Open seven, my bad. That is way better. And this is my mouse rest or my keyboard rest. And I had it up sitting on, on across the tops of the two monitors. And it was there just fine. And then all of a sudden it just fell. And that's what that noise was. Now I'm picking everything back up. It was just my glues, my um, my Fabri-Tac, my Uhu, and my glue gun fell over and went to kabloom. Now what I could do is I could open these up. I could put those in there. Let's do that. 
Anyway, so we're done with this. Yay! At least I think we are. And I want to put these in here. Let's hope they fit because I just cut that bag. Staticky. Oh, yeah, they're all going to fit just fine. That is, if I don't throw them all over the place. Perfect. Yay! And now we have all our little things organized. And this one's on the desk, so it'll be like my go to. Did you guys even see it? I know that. There we go. They are. This one's stuck. There we go. Upside down. There we go. They're just little flowers. I'm trying to cover it a little bit because my light will kind of just make it glare. Anyway, that's it. Well, thank you guys for joining me and helping me uh, organize my little flat backs here. Now we can do all kinds of pretty clusters and such and Oh, I pulled these out of that box. I'm not sure what they all are. I mean, they're wood pieces. I know that. But these are mugs. Um, I used to go and get things on clearance, like, all the time. But now I'm at the point that I'm just like, okay, uh, I have way too much stuff. So I don't really buy too much these days I use a lot but here I think this was big when I was in um, this must have been when I was big into planning yeah because these are all months January February March March there's three December's August another February Um, oh, and a May, a date, a year, a door, music notes, and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use all of these. I can probably use um, Sweet and a door, maybe even December, make like a cover for... Um, like a December journal or something. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. But anyway, uh, my May broke. Like it just now broke. Okay. It It is broken though. It's literally just sitting there on the tape. The sticker for the price tag. Anyway, I'll have to fix that before I can use it, if I can fix it enough to use it, which we probably can because we fix stuff to use all the time. Take it apart and then fix it up and reuse it. So anyway, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for, you know, hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully we'll get some clusters going. Uh, we might do that tomorrow. Uh, then again, something else might pop into my head and be like, oh, I want to do this. So, who knows? Anyway, you guys have fun. You guys have a wonderful day. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.